Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, I thought it'd be a good time to give an update on this battery situation. Um, I've been picking away at this as I can, as hours allow in the shop. And um, I've got a bunch of these cells out already. As you can see, none of them are coming out super clean. They all got uh, a fair amount of foam still stuck to them. So far, there's not a, a super quick and easy way to get these things out of here without uh, having a bit of cleanup afterwards. But a little bit of time on the buffer seems to get the majority of this stuff off. Um, <clears throat> what I've got is enough cells out that I can start the CAD work for the custom packs we're going to need for our next EV projects around here. What I can do in the meantime though is I'm only going to need about half of these cells in this entire pack. So we're going to sell off the rest of these cells. Um, now I know the good folks at Monroe have kind of front run this. They've already ripped one of these packs apart and have sold off a bunch of cells. Uh, what I decided to do was I'm not going to undercut them at all. I'm going to kind of stay lockstep with what their pricing is because I'm painfully aware of the staggering amount of hours that are in ripping this cell apart. So I'm just going to kind of mirror whatever their pricing is for it. However, what I am going to do to differentiate the cells that we've pulled out is <clears throat> I've made a 3D printed... 4680 Starship. So what I have is an authentic 4680 cell just modeled after a Starship. Um, most of the Tesla guys follow SpaceX pretty closely, so I thought it was kind of a neat way to tie the two companies together. Also, if you're following SpaceX at all, you know that in the next uh, maybe month, two months, something like that, there is supposed to be a test fire of a fully stacked Starship coming up. So that's kind of exciting. Neat little uh, way to tie both companies together. Um, so the other thing I want to do today is I'd like to wrap up that t-shirt giveaway. Um, I've had uh, actually tremendous uh, response to that. I've got 190, 190 some odd comments on that. Um, strangely enough, more comments than I have subscribers, but whatever. It's something free that I do the same thing. Um, so yeah, awesome response, uh, very appreciative. So I'm going to uh, head back to the office and uh, this afternoon wrap that up, that little giveaway. And uh, again, appreciate all the support. Thanks. All right. I just want to thank you everybody again for the, the good response to the t-shirt giveaway. Um, yeah, almost 200 comments on that. So it was pretty cool to see that everybody was engaged as much as they were. Um, yeah, what I'm going to do is in a uh, super high tech fashion, I have wrote everybody's name down on a piece of paper here. I'm just going to put the names into my hat and uh, randomly pick out two. Oh, for f All right, let's try that a little less vigorously. Two. Okay, and the winners are BB001A and Degon01. Congratulations. Wear them in good health. Everybody left disappointed. Um, you always have the option of purchasing a t shirt from me um, or hat, whatever. Um, I've seen guys set up kind of a YouTube store merch site. So I'm going to figure out how to do that and um, I'll list these suckers for sale. But in the meantime, if you are interested in purchasing a 4680 Starship, I will put the email link in the description um, and pricing for those. I do have, there will be a limited number of them for sale, but um, there is a few out that I have already. Just shoot me an email and, um, and we'll chat about that. Yeah, did you guys catch this week Tesla announced large price cuts across all their models? Um, that's going to maybe put a little bit of a pause on us purchasing wrecked cars from the auctions for a while. I'm kind of interested to see how this all works out. If uh, the cost of replacement is coming down, we might actually see more of these coming for sale at the auctions. Um, with less damage on them because it's cheaper for the insurance company to write it off and just replace it. 
But until we kind of see how that filters through, uh, we'll have a pause on, um, on purchasing for a little while. That being said, we do have another Model Y on the way up. We should probably see early next week. Um, so we definitely have enough parts kicking around for the next couple of EV projects. Um, so it won't be a concern immediately for us, but yeah, very interested to see how that all plays through in the market. Um, I also have, uh, speaking of the shop, I got a couple of cool projects in the shop. If you guys are interested in more of the project vehicles that, um, that I'm building, any of the EV conversions and whatnot, I can... Um, try to focus on maybe the next couple of videos being more project centric. I know I've been pretty Tesla content heavy so far, but a lot of other neat stuff going on in the shop that might, um, might benefit you guys seeing. Um, yeah, appreciate everybody sticking with me and, um, that's all for today. Thanks guys.